we're going to talk about our new pre-workout called Arc Reactor. There were a lot of really, really bright people that helped create this product. And we're really proud of it. I remember when we got our first samples, I used it. I remember I was doing incline dumbbell presses and I pulled out my phone while I was training. Yeah, I had my phone while I was training. <laughs> and I texted Ed and I said, Ed, I think we got a winner here. This is a, this is a really cool feeling. I don't think I've had this feeling before. So this is a, this is a great product we've, had, we've put a lot of work into. We're going to get into the details now with the Secretary of Shreditivity, Scott Stevenson. This is a really unique combination of supplements. We've kind of grouped them, the ingredients, into three categories for the ARC reactor. This is the pre-workout. We want to get a pump. We want to have a performance, an ergogenic effect. And of course, the pre-workout, you want to feel ready to rock and roll when it comes to time to train. So in the pump category, and you'll see all this on the website with all the scientific details that everyone loves, we've got a number of key ingredients here. L-citrulline is in a whopping six gram dose. This is gonna be an effective dose in and of itself. This is a precursor to arginine. So arginine, of course, is gonna feed into nitric oxide, otherwise known time in days gone past as endothelial derived reacting factor. So this is gonna increase vasodilation. And nitrosagene is a silicon stabilized version of arginine. So basically we've got two ways of feeding into the arginine pool in your bloodstream so we can get nitric oxide and vasodilation. Hydromax is a glycerol source. And we actually have some inside information that just this one and a half gram dose of Hydromax will increase extracellular volume in the muscles and help you with the pump. So it's just, you think one and a half grams, what's that gonna do for you? This is actually enough to make this happen. And this last ingredient is very, very cool. So Vasodrive AP, this, these are actually milk-derived lactotripeptides. So these are two tripeptides, isoleucine, proline and proline, and valine, proline and praline, proline, that will inhibit the angiotensin converting enzyme. So if you look into, and perhaps you remember some of your um, endocrinology there, angiotensin converting enzyme is very important for vasopressin uh, conversion. Vasopressin is a vasoconstrictor. So when we provide these tripeptides in just 254 milligrams, we have a way of inhibiting angiotensin converting enzyme, which releases vasopressin and causes an even, even greater pump. What's really cool about these, there's actually some thought that angiotensin converting enzyme inhibition is an ergogenic aid that should be outlawed by WADA. It's pretty impressive stuff. So you can either inhibit the ACE enzyme or inhibit the angiotensin II um, receptor and both of those things will have powerful vasodilatory effects. So that, all of that goes in chest to the pump section of the arc reactor. In the strength performance to anti-fatigue area, we've got, of course, good old creatine. Everyone needs creatine, three gram dose. So this is gonna be enough to load you up. If you take this, you work out four or five times a week, you'll be loaded in a matter of a couple weeks if you're not already taking creatine, but it's there. And the creatine, of course, has its own anabolic actions too, potentially. Betaine HCL is a cell volumizer. This actually has some ergogenic effects unto itself. And beta alanine. Now, some people don't like beta alanine. They don't like the tinglies. Some people love the tinglies. So we've got a 1.8 gram dose here, which is enough to keep most people below the tinglies that you get from beta alanine. This, of course, is increasing muscle carnosine content. So this is gonna act as a buffer and thus an ergogenic aid unto itself. So just as a note, if you just take beta alanine, just from the arc reactor, 1.8 grams a day, it's gonna take you a long time to dose up. Probably about 180, 280, 200 grams of beta alanine. Total consumed is what you need to increase muscle carnosine content enough to have an ergogenic effect. So this is enough to get you started. You can take more and get there faster. Or you could just take this and maybe take 100 days to do that. It's up to you. And L-ornithine, L-aspartate, otherwise known as Lola, is a pretty cool product as well. Ornithine and citrulline and arginine are all part of the, uh, the urea cycle. So ornithine is, is helpful because it's also going to interact with citrulline and our arginine source here to provide more nitric oxide. The urea cycle is part of ammonia scavenging. So we can get an ergogenic effect here by scavenging ammonia. So ammonia is a byproduct of very high intensity contractions. We wanna get rid of ammonia 
First of all, because it potentially can inhibit energy supply, and it can also uh, make you feel fatigued as well, so have a central effect. This last section here, this is my favorite. This is probably what you've been waiting to hear me talk about. These are the ingredients, I think, that really separate Arc Reactor from any other pre-workout stimulants you find on the product. Be they pump stimulants, stimulant stimulants, pump pre-workouts or stimulant pre-workouts. And the main feature here is theocrine. We've got 100 milligrams in here. I, I highly doubt that if you look anywhere else on the market, you're gonna find another product that has 100 milligrams of theocrine. This is what you might call a stimulant, but it also increases mood. Doesn't have the anxiety effects that a lot of people get with caffeine. Actually will increase your libido. And it has a very, very long half-life, probably longer than 12 hours from what we know from some of the insider information we have from the people who produce this. So this means a nice slow increase in energy that's gonna last for a long, long time. We've added to theocrine caffeine, 250 milligrams. That's a decent dose. It's not gonna knock your hairs off your ears as John, I think, said earlier. Um, but this is a solid dose of caffeine. And these two are synergized. Actually, they both compete for the same P450 enzyme. So they're gonna to work together with one another to increase levels. One of the interesting things about theocrine in and of itself is that it doesn't cause habituation. So you're not gonna get quote unquote addicted to it. I say that in a very non-clinical way. It doesn't display tachyphylaxis. So the effects that you have week one, the same effects you can expect to have many weeks down the road. And it may even be some of the insider information that theocrine also helps prevent that habituation, which is very, very typical in caffeine. So we've got a really nice combo here. We've also added to that 60 milligrams of theobromine, which you'll find in teas. It's another methylxanthine like caffeine. This one actually tends to reduce blood pressure a little bit. It tends to kind of balance out the stimulant effects. So this is just a nice combination to blend together. And last but not least, in our cognitive blend here, we have an adaptogen, probably the world's oldest adaptogen that there is, Panix ginseng. In this case, we've got a modernized version of that. They've used an enzyme fermentation process to create an extract that's very, very bioavailable. That's why we can get away with just 45 milligrams instead of the 100 milligrams you'll typically see in a lot of products. So the GS154 is actually a pretty popular ingredient. You'll see that in a lot of, a lot of nowadays at least, a lot of products that are really on the up and up and using the best stuff that's out there. This will increase some of the gene expression for several neurotransmitters. Gives you a great improvement in mood. And it's actually such a good product. I, I gave some of this to my dad and he loves it. So this is one of my favorites. So overall, Arc Reactor, we've really got this is about as cutting edge as you can get. We've got synergy amongst all of these ingredients in each category. There's even some synergy across categories as well. And these are unique ingredients, especially the theocrine. You'll find this in other products, but I don't think you're gonna find this in too many pre-workouts. We've got a really good dose of L-citrulline. This in and of itself is enough to have an impact on vasodilation. So what we're not trying to do is just have a kitchen sink approach and just throw everything, no kitchen sinking, and we're not fairy dusting here as well. You'll see in the detailed descriptions we have on the website that in each of these ingredients, some of which, for instance, like the beta alanine, we've used just a minimal dose that you might want to take more to get the effect of the, uh, the product. We've let you know that so you can do that in addition without trying to overload you in one product. Pump, an ergogenic effect, and a cognitive effect, we're making sure you have one heck of a workout if you take our reactor.